here's a shot of the Wonderberries. And if we move the foliage over, you can see a bunch of the green berries. Here's some of the flowers. And if we really get in there, push away all these beets. All right, out of the way beet. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Right there. Is a black Wonderberry. There you go. Wonderberries. Oops. Here's some of the gold beets. All packed in there. Here's another one. There you go. Nice gold beat. Those peppers that I thought weren't doing anything have finally managed to do something actually. Some mint, pepper, pepper, a bunch of tomatoes. Kale. You can see the potatoes are dying back. Be able to be pulled up here. This is my latest contraption. A tomato gallows. A bit of guy wires to Keep her from blowing away. In the middle, here's the tomatoes. These guys here are marigolds that we grew from seed. And what's amazing about them is they're two and a half feet tall, which is probably about a foot and a half bigger than I've ever seen a marigold in these stores. This right here is the okra. There's more okra. There's one of those eggplants, marigolds. This one actually has a flower that's coming out. Here's a store bought bell pepper. It's actually getting a bell pepper. Quite exciting. And not that guy, but this guy right here. I pull this one out of the way. That right there is was a sucker from this plant that I cut off and I buried it about a foot deep and it sprouted roots and will eventually become an entirely new plant. There's the Black Prince doing pretty well. Peppers So this is a culmination of stringing them up and doing the Florida weave. Had to do the Florida weave because I ran out of strings to string them up. But here, 
with these eggplants. You can see getting buds on them. There's a nice one right down here. And uh, there's another one. So those are doing quite well. And these guys, which took a bit longer, they're pretty, pretty spectacular as well. They're probably two feet. You can see that they also have a bunch of flowers to them, which is awesome. Look at that one. Here's that other bed of corn and cabbage. See the corn is taken off. There's cabbages forming their heads. This corn over here actually has two ears of corn on it. This is the one I've been growing inside since January. Now over here is the strawberry bed. You can see a bunch of flowers all over them. In the last week, they have grown quite a bit. Let's see if I can find one. It's fruit. Fruit, flowers. Look how much f flowers and fruit this one has. There's four right there. Five. Six. Oh, there's a bunch more right there. Uh, this thing's loaded. There's a nice one. This white one. Of course, that one over there. Very happy. If you go over here, oh. these lilies are gorgeous. If you remember the last video of the broccoli, they were nice and tiny. In the sprouted broccoli video, number 19, they're like this big. Here a month later. Pretty impressive. Harvesting a bunch of heads off of them. There's a bunch more on there. Say uh, four of four inches wide. And there's one over here. And a number of these guys are just coming out. There's something interesting with my onion bed here. As you can see a number of them have fallen over. I'm not quite sure if that means that they're done growing. But they're, uh, some are this big, some are this big, you know, and they should be like this big. Or if a cat is laid on them, it's too much water, not enough water. So many uh, different things to make them fall over. Any ideas, let me know. But, come in here. Where's my really good ones? Oh. Just, not that one. You see this guy. So 
one of my red ones I planted from seed that's coming out. And uh, what do we got here? You see a nice bulb right here. And this one is a pretty good bulb. Excited about that one. And some of these right here are my leeks. They're about a quarter of an inch thick now. So I'm probably going to have to put a toilet paper tube around them, block out the sun, try to bleach the, the stems a bit while they're getting bigger. And then I guess that's the last little shot. You can see the amaranth is growing.